The road is mine. Get your square ass out the way. I'm in route. Location unknown. How has the Bay Area environment changed since this, since the since the golden era? Um, the independence has kind of went away. Um, the um, I ain't gonna say the creativity, the vibe, the uh, back in back in the golden era. You know, you had a lot of groups out the Bay, but everybody was in their own bag. Everybody was doing their own thing. Everybody had their own sound, their own style, their own swag. Everybody was repping their city, where they was from, their area, you know what I'm saying? So every every spot had their own sound, had their own, you know, uh, vibe like, you know what I'm saying? I think that over the years, um, like I was just saying off camera, that I felt that the Bay Area kind of got blackballed a little bit. And I think that everybody was so scared of that, that motherfuckers start making music to conform with it, what everybody else is doing. Niggas are trying to, you know, niggas are trying to rap like the East Coast. Niggas are trying to rap like down South. Uh, now, a lot of niggas nowadays are trying to rap like Detroit cats. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't think that, and then when the hyphy movement came in, that was identity for us, but um, I don't really know what happened with that. I think the industry kind of like, this is just what I think. I think, the industry seen us trying to make a comeback. Like, oh, these niggas gonna come back with some hyphy shit? This is gonna put the Bay Area back on? Nah, I think we need to stifle that a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And I think they just kind of pulled back. Um, and then after that, I think cats were just trying to, was just trying to find an identity, was trying to find something that worked, trying to find something that fit, and kind of lost the original Bay Area golden era vibe. You know what I'm saying? Niggas was just, um, yeah, niggas was just uh, trying to scramble for the prize and wasn't really conscious no more of individuality. Um, you know, your own sound, your own what comes from here, you know what I'm saying? Um, there was a lot of politics involved. I can't blame new artists. I can't blame the Bay Area. The music industry had a big part to play in it because like I said, they was kind of scared of the independent game out here in the Bay Area, and they didn't want everybody to do that because if everybody was independent like the Bay, if the Bay Area, L.A., down south, and the East Coast was all independent labels, and all we needed was moms and pop stores, we didn't need no uh, uh, no major label backing or none of that shit. If we were just able to run our shit independently, the record industry wouldn't make no money. These big major labels would fold, and the industry would collapse. But it'll be in our favor because we'll all be rich as a motherfucker riding around here billionaires. Everybody will be billionaires and millionaires, you know. And, of course, they didn't want to see that. This is America. They didn't want to see that. Um, yeah, and I think that was that's the difference is nowadays we kind of lost our identity. We kind of lost the divide. It's coming back, though. There's a lot of new artists that's coming back. And it's a lot of old artists from our area that's coming back, too. That's still been doing this shit and still know how to do this shit correctly. And still, you know, and, and been dropping bombs lately, you know what I'm saying? I'm one of them, man. Capone. My nigga Black Sea is another one that just dropped a, a, a dope-ass album, you know what I'm saying? And it's cats like us that still got love for this shit that still think that, you know, they say it's a young man's game, but shit, nigga, who, who said that? You know what I'm saying? Shit. I, I got 47 years of experience. What a 17-year-old gonna rap to, over me? <laughs> that nigga don't know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But video games and weed, that's all that nigga does. I done been to the game prison, had kids, raised kids, and the whole shit, you know, so. But just, this, you know, I'm just bullshitting, but. Um, yeah. Uh, I think we just kind of lost our independence, man, you know. Uh, thanks to spot, thanks to uh, institutions like Empire Distribution. Shout out to my nigga Gazi. He kind of like uh, giving that independence back to artists, you know what I'm saying? to where uh, you can be in control of your own shit and still be on the same platforms as major labels and shit. So shout out to Empire Distribution, shout out to Ghazi. Um, he's a, uh, that's one of the tools that Barry or Cat should probably look into to uh, get that independence back, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How has the Bay Area environment changed since this era of the 90s? Uh, well, one thing would be, as I mentioned, the uh, the whole business model. 
it being an out the trunk. I wrote this whole story for the Bay Guardian back in the in the mid '90s uh, about this thing entitled "Out the Trunk," and it was whereby the business model that so many uh, independent, black-owned and operated independent record labels here in the Bay Area had. So it was really more of an industry, whereas now that has sort of shifted. And of course, the whole internet and music sharing and that has changed the game too. But there was definitely, it was um, more of a homegrown, independent, independent art, you know, mom and pop run industry here back then. Uh, with a whole thriving industry surrounding it with all of these studios that people would go to. And uh, everybody, you know, it was, it was like a thriving business as well as an art form. And so many uh, amazing people came out, you know, the different magazines around, you know, 4080 and yeah. Murder Dog, the Bomb Hip Hop. These were all like locally published uh, magazines that just weighed in on this art form when other people, it, it appeared, wouldn't. And um, things have, have certainly shifted a lot since then. It's certainly more of a big industry now than before. In the room just for two, eight course on my force for a few. We ride in the clouds, sounding like doom. Intense thunder and lightning under my groove. Many more to claim, take them all down in boots. No disrespect, how the engine room. Run up a check, and it ain't from the gasoline. Taking these routes on my job, it's an errand, see.